In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the Miller knot. The Miller knot is an excellent knot to use for twine and as well as stiff cords to tie up bags and cinch them closed without being too tight. So let's, ex I'll show you how to tie the Miller knot in both left and right handed. Then I'll explain more about this knot. So what you do is you start with what's called your running end. You loop it around a pole here or an object or your bag or whatever it is. You continue looping around and then you create this X. Once you've created this X, what you want to do is continue to loop around, not on the outside here, but on the inside. And you will come over and I'm gonna keep the knot real loose so you can see what it looks like. You can see you've got two parallel wraps here, okay? And then the running end, you take and you pass it under the standing part loop. So you just pass it under here, just like this. And then you begin tightening or what's called dressing the knot. Now what's most important is to keep these two lines parallel as you cinch or dress the knot tight and there you go there is the miller knot let me show you how to tie it left-handed it doesn't really matter it's a symmetric knot it's very easy to do you can do this and be very successful in tying this miller knot again you loop the rope around once to create this x just like this then you loop it around again and you make it parallel just like that so you can see the structure of the knot. And then this line here, you pass the running end under this line here and just begin slowly cinching it and tightening it up. There you go. And that is the Miller knot. It is excellent for tying bags closed without being as difficult to get apart as a constrictor knot, but this definitely has way better gripping power than the clove hitch. Now let me show you the one thing that can go wrong with the Miller knot is when you are cinching this down, it is easy to have this the running end line flop over here and get into the wrong position. This takes out the friction from the second or the first loop and so you lose that strength so the miller knot's one weakness is that it's very important that when you tighten up the miller knot to make sure that the lines stay neat and symmetric all the way around because otherwise and the reason for that is you get the grip from here and here but the one tendency of the Miller knot is to have it flop over and then you lose that gripping strength and it is not nearly as powerful a knot. The Miller knot is super useful as you can see here. It's really easy to tie and lash together and close up a bag or attach to an object. It is easier to remove than the constrictor knot but definitely more powerful than the clove hitch. I talk about the Miller knot in my book, The Most Crucial Knots to Know. On page 56, you can see how I've illustrated and photographed how to tie the Miller knot very clear and concise. And most importantly on this page, explaining when and where to use this knot and when not to use this knot. Because it's not the best for gripping, but it's definitely way better than other knots for not slipping apart. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Winnie Corner Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my show, Antarctic Tears. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.